So you want to make your subtitles look like this? I was filming music videos when I was about 17 years old. In DaVinci Resolve, you'll learn exactly how to do that in this video. The first thing you're gonna need is your text effect. You're gonna go to the toolbox and type in text, and then slide over text plus into your timeline. Then make it fit your footage. Now, with your text plus clip selected, you're gonna go to the inspector and pick your desired font. I'm just gonna go with, let's say, SF Pro Display. Then I want you to go to the settings tab and change the position to whatever you like. I prefer to just put my subtitles at the bottom of the screen because they're the least distracting and easiest to read. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the size of your subtitles. I'm gonna go with 0.08. You want to make them big enough so that they're readable but also not too big to be too distracting and take over the video. Now this is only the foundation of your subtitles. What we need to do now is to make them look better. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to shading, select the second element, enable it, increase the thickness of your outline, and change the color to whatever you want it to be. To add a sort of shadow effect, you can go to softness and change the X and Y values. I'll go with something around 5.5 on both of them. And this adds a nice shadowy effect to our subtitles. An extra step you could take is to animate your subtitles. Now you don't want to do this for every single line because it will be too distracting for the viewer. You only want to animate the most important parts of your subtitles to make them stand out more. So how do you animate your subtitles? It's very easy with the use of keyframes. To do this, you're gonna go back to the text tab. Then I want you to go down to the size value and you can see a little diamond icon right next to it and this represents a keyframe. So first you have to make sure that you're at the very start of your clip and then create a keyframe on size. Then you're gonna slightly lower the size. Let's go to 0.075. And you're gonna move forward around five frames. So one, two, three, four, five. At the fifth frame, you want to increase the size value above what you started with. So we're gonna go with something like this and then go three frames forward and set the value back to whatever you started with. And this will result in a smooth pop in animation, which you can see right here. And you can use this animation to make the subtitles stand out more. If you want to, you can obviously change the values that you use, but just don't go too crazy with it because it will make your subtitles completely unreadable. When you have everything ready, you can go ahead and start transcribing your video into subtitles. Go for your video and cut up the text plus clip in a way that you can fit a single line of text per clip. So we're gonna go ahead and just see what Jack is saying. So boom, we have three lines and we can just transcribe it. You definitely should experiment a little bit with the shading tab to just make your subtitles look like you want them to. And there you go, you can now create subtitles, customize them and animate them with the use of keyframes. Thanks for watching and hop onto my channel for more Resolve tutorials like this. Good luck editing.